Ah, the infamous Superman. Once a symbol of hope, a paragon of power and virtue. Now plagued by the limitations of his own morality. And who might you be? Another so-called philosopher seeking to challenge my ideals? I am Kreia, a former Jedi master who has witnessed the destructive consequences of unwavering righteousness. You see, Superman, your unwavering commitment to justice, while admirable, blinds you to the complexities of the world. Complexity? I fight for truth and justice, and I won't allow any compromise in that pursuit. There is no gray area when it comes to protecting the innocent. And there lies a flaw in your philosophy. Your rigid adherence to black and white thinking prevents you from truly understanding the consequences of your actions. By eliminating any form of compromise, you deny yourself the opportunity to seek alternative solutions. There is no alternative to justice. Those who harm others must be stopped, no matter the cost. Thieves, murders, rapists, they don't deserve to live. They deserve death like the Joker. But what of the unintended consequences of your actions? The lives lost, the collateral damage caused in the name of your singular pursuit of justice. You have appointed yourself as judge, jury, and executioner, yet there is none for one such as you. I do what is necessary to protect innocent lives. If that means ruling with an iron fist, then so be it. The world needs a strong leader to maintain order. Humanity is weak. They need a strong leader, a man of steel. That's where I come in. Your vision of order is flawed, Superman. True order arises from understanding and balance, not from a single individual imposing their will upon others. Power without wisdom and compassion breeds fear and resentment. The people won't have it your way. They will rise against you. What good is a ruler without his loyal subjects? Let them come with whatever they have. Guns, sticks, or even words. Doesn't matter. Better that they are alive to be angry at me than for them to be dead and crying. But by imposing your own sense of justice without question, you become the very thing you seek to eradicate. Your actions may stem from good intentions, but they pave the way for a future where might makes right, leaving no room for growth or redemption. How would Lois Lane, the one whom you do all this for, will feel when she sees you in this state? She'll be alive to witness the good I've done for this world. Lois is a strong and resilient woman. She understands the necessity of my actions. She will know that I am doing what is necessary to protect innocent lives. No, she will be disgusted at what you have become all the trust and love you share with Lois, gone for the sake of your singular vision of justice. But I cannot allow weakness or hesitation to undermine the greater good. I must ensure a safe and just world, even if it means sacrificing my own humanity. And therein lies the tragedy, Superman. In your quest for justice, you lose sight of the core essence of what it means to be human. The struggle, the capacity for growth and change, the ability to learn from mistakes, Without these qualities, you become an unyielding force, disconnected from the very people you strive to protect. But we've spoken enough today. The question is, what will you do? 